Hey everybody, Rocket here with the Comic Book Boys. Wanted to take the time to show you how to send us your books or just ship comic books in general. Um, it's kind of a, a little bit intimidating if you've never shipped before, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's really easy. It's just a, it's, it's not hard at all. So first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need um, a couple of items that I have on the table to make sure your comics get shipped safely and securely to us or to the destination that you're sending them to. The first thing you're gonna need um, is two pieces of cardboard. Now, um, in comparison to the size of a comic, um, like if I put a comic book on the front of it, you want the cardboard to be bigger on the top and on the sides than the actual comic book. So what happens is, so what we do is we're essentially gonna put another board on top of it, so that way in transit, if it, if it you know, gets banged or or bumped, we're not going to screw up the quality of our comics. It's really important that um, you know the edges and um, different parts of the comics don't get banged and bumped. I mean, uh, bumped. You'd be surprised um, how these mailmen um, treat packages. Like we've shipped comics to um, some of our customers, and uh, you know they've sent us pictures like, "Oh my gosh, what is this?" And the mailman just literally, I, I swear, it's like they're playing football and punting these things around. They just have no respect. So really important that we have. Uh, these pieces of cardboard. The next thing you're actually going to need um, is a bag and a board. And um, I mean, this isn't absolutely necessary, um, I guess, but I, I highly recommend it if you have access to bags and boards. Uh, you take the comic. What I like to do actually is I like to put the board in first. So I'll take the, um, the board, kind of slide it in first. So that way uh, you don't damage the corner of the comics when you put it in there. So I'll take the bag and the board and I'll take the comic, put it on top of the board and then kind of ease it in there like so. So the board was put in first and I put the comic on top of it and it kind of slides in, letting the board go to the bottom of the comic. And now I push the comic down the rest of the way and now we have protection before we even put it inside the cardboard. So you can see here that the board is, is nice and snug and keeps this comic secure. Then what I do, I'll forward this over and uh, put some tape on the actual um, board to keep this thing closed. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do that right now. I just get some basic shipping tape um, from uh, you know Staples, Costco, wherever you want to get shipping tape from. Um, one of the biggest annoying things about these pieces of tape is that sometimes you lose the um, start location of it here. Okay, I found it. So here, boom, gonna take a piece of tape. Gonna grab some scissors here. These are also handy, you need these bad boys. Um, just go ahead and just cut off a piece of this. Bam, good to go. Um, I'm also gonna keep my place kind of with that uh, scissor so that way that doesn't have, uh, you don't lose that again. So then you just kind of fold it over. You can either do it at the front or the back. Um, pull that bad boy. Now it's good. So next thing I do, um, so now I have my cardboard, I have my uh, bag and my board. The next thing that we're going to need is some bubble wrap. Okay. So the bubble wrap, what we're going to use this for is once we take our comic and put it inside our boards, we're going to wrap the bubble tape around it. That way, once again, we're adding another layer, of another layer of protection um, to perfect it, to protect us from these. Uh, uh, these mailmen and these uh, FedEx and UPS guys that just uh, are, are playing football with our packages, like I said. So uh, also, I like to have a little uh, packing paper that I will stuff uh, the edges with to just add even more protection. So also, you can have um, bubble wrap like this. It's a little bit thicker. Uh, it doesn't matter. It all works. For the cases of the example today, we're going to be using this. So the first thing I do is I take the um, comic that's uh, bagged and boarded, and I put it on top of the um, bigger cardboard that we've cut out, the, the, the cardboard for security purposes. Then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take four pieces of uh, tape here. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna cut like a nice, you know, here we go, we're gonna do one here. Oops, sorry, a little messy. You come in a little bit here, Gambit, we can show them what we're doing. So we take one here, okay? Then what I do is I'm going to tape the right side around and secure the right side. Then I'm going to go ahead and take some more tape 
and I'm going to cut it. Bingo, and I'm going to tape the left side. So now I have the right side and the left side taped on there. Now, um, bingo, okay? Then what I'm gonna do, actually, I definitely don't like the alignment of that. Hold on just one second, let me fix that. Don't like the way that's kind of pointed to the side. Kind of rushing here just to show you guys, I would definitely do a little better than that. So you don't want it to be kind of off centered like that, something like that. So that way your comic's pointing straight down. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the top. Then we're going to do the bottom. Okay, bingo. So now you can see that this comic is securely bagged and boarded, and then we have additional, per, uh, it's taped shut, then we have tape overlapping the side, tape here, tape here, tape here, kind of making a cross. Um, kind of think of it like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, it, it, now now keep in mind this is for one comic book okay now if you have two comic books you actually want to put the other comics on top of this or multiple comics and then wrap on top as such so so you would repeat the step of of doing the cross but before you actually put these four pieces on you put the other comic or two or four comics or five comics on top of it however many you have so once that's done. Um, so, you, I mean, in this case, you would be one, but if you had more, it would be like this, but the tape would be underneath. So, so uh, that's multiple um, comics. So once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and put the additional board on top. So what we're doing is we're protecting the comic 100%. And now what I do is I like to just go wild here and, and you know, I'm not going to get picky. You know, if you want to waste it, you know, I, I, I'm a tape waster. So, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about... Um, protecting tape when it comes to my comics. I want to make sure that they're really secured nicely. So I'll do like one good wrap that way. Um, you know, I get, I, and I usually get crazier. You can ask, uh, ask Gambit than that, but, but that's, that's just good for the example. So now we're secured horizontally, kind of push that in there at night, but not, not too much pressure because I don't want to damage the comic. Underneath. Then, you know, I'll do a nice, big, long way. And I'll wrap this bad boy around here. Such, give it a nice couple. Like I said, I'm, I've had too many comics damaged by the post office, so I, I don't play around when it comes to this. So, boom. Now we got a nice comic that's nice and secure, and we're ready to go to the bubble wrap phase. So, um, so what I do here is I will take bubble wrap. So, here we go. Here's our bubble wrap. Place the comic right next to the edge. I will do one fold over of the bubble wrap. At that point in time, I will make a nice long medium cut on um, the tape and tape the um, bubble wrap to the edge. Usually I do the right side, you do the left side, whatever you prefer. Now I start wrapping. So I'll do maybe like four, maybe five good wraps and then I'll cut the remainder of the bubble wrap that I have. Um, in this case, I'll just go ahead and use it all. And then once I'm done here, I go ahead and uh, once again, this is not the shipping tape that I usually use. It has the metal sort of piece on the end that kind of lets you know where you are. So let me just put it in there. I'll go ahead and take this bad boy shut. So now we got a comic that is uh, protected with bubble wrap and also um, it has a good cardboard board behind it and cardboard surrounding it so that way we're not going to ding our corners, we're not going to hurt the spine of the book, we're going to be ready to rock and roll. Now what I really suggest um, is a priority mail medium flat rate box. Um, you can fit a lot of comics in here, um, I think it's like $12.95 to $14. Um, flat rate shipping anywhere in the United States. If it fits, it ships. I, um, I highly recommend this actually. I use it all the time. 
I ship raw comics in it. I ship graded comics in it. Uh, so does um, so does Gambit um, all the time. So what, what we do here with this box, we just you, it, oh by the way, you can go to your local post office and pick these up for free. They don't they don't even cost anything. You go to the post office, you pick them up. So when you get home, you just kind of turn this thing into a box. It's really simple. It's just it's it just becomes a box. Now you take. The edges, you fold them in, just like that. Edge one, edge two, you fold it in. So you fold the two bottom pieces in, you fold this up. Then you, you there, there's gonna be a little bit of a, um, a section here where there's some adhesive. You just kinda take your fingernail, dig in there, get that adhesive off of there. And then you pull straight down, okay? Now, you want to create a nice, good seal on the bottom of this thing. So the, this, this adhesive, at the beginning, when I first started shipping, I was really paranoid that, hey, maybe it would kind of break open during transit. But um, knock on wood, I'm still yet to have one of them do that on me. So these are getting safely to the destination. At least this is pretty, pretty darn secure. So, but if you're, you know, if you're worried about it, what you can do is you can just take you know, one piece of tape here and, uh, and, and kind of wrap around right here. So that way it adds more reinforcement to make sure it doesn't open during transit. Even though, like I said, uh, it usually doesn't happen, I still, you know, sometimes do that if I, you know, depending on, you know, how worried I am or how, how valuable the stuff I'm putting in it is, I'll, I'll kind of double secure the adhesive that comes on the priority mail flat rate box with um, some more tape. So now I got a good container, okay? So what do I do next? So um, let me kind of put that down. So now... I take the comic. Now I'm going to kind of size the box to the comic because I don't want to just put this in here like this because this is still going to move around a bunch during transit. Do you see that? So I only put one comic in here. If I have slabs or maybe I have five, six comics in here and it's nice and tight, it's a different situation each time. So what I'll use is I, 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 like, I like to take, um, you know, if I use a thicker bubble wrap, I'll, I'll put the thicker bubble wrap in there. But what I use is I'll use some stuffing paper to get in here. Let me, uh, Kind of show you here. You take some stuffing paper, stuff the side, and then you know I, I'll use some more stuffing paper, or in this case, I can even use you know this bad boy. Stick it in here. Get things nice and snug, so that way when you know they're playing around with it and not treating your package the way you want them to, it doesn't move. You're not gonna have anything jiggling, okay? So you get that in there, nice and smooth. Then, so we got a nice secure package here, okay? I might even put it a little more right at the front. We don't want things moving. You definitely don't want things moving during transit. Remember, they don't care at all. You're the only one that cares. Once it leaves your house, you are the last person that cares about it until it gets to us, I promise you. So, once again, now we just do the same thing we do with the other side. Fold in the sides, fold up the bottom flap, Okay, make sure it's nice and tight and snug. And we come up here, we do the same thing. We're gonna peel off the adhesive. Bam, bam, chicka, bam, bam. Okay, now when we, we fold down and we close. Look at that. So now we got a, a nice priority mailbox that's been sealed and taped on this side. Now I'm just gonna do one more layer of reinforcement on this side. Okay, here we go. Ba bam. Ba bam. Get that nice and sealed. Okay, bingo. Now we're all done. Okay, so we got this thing taped, sealed, ready to rock and roll. Now, what you're going to want to do is in the comments below or on our webpage, we're going to have a link to USPS Click and Ship. Now, I recommend if you live in a, a bigger city where you, if you go to your post office after you get, after, get off of work, there's a ton of people in there, or there's a long line, you can go follow the links below and also read our description that we put in there. You can go to usps.com, sign up for a clip and ship, click, click and ship account, and uh, you can actually print your label at home, and then you will um, just print it out, and then you will tape the label on right here. So um, what you do is you print the label out, It'll, it'll have a little section that you can cut across um, and then you just put it right here and then you tape with nice secure tape the label down right on top of it 
you walk it straight into the USPS store and you put it down. You can cut the whole line, go right to the front, put that down because you already have your label paid for it and shipped. If you don't want to do it that way, you can take it to the post office just like this and uh, the uh, post office uh, clerk or attendant will help you get it done. But um, you can do it at home. At click, uh, you can do it at home with click and ship or you can take it to the post office, wait in line and they'll, um, you know, uh, help you out um, with uh, getting it to where you need to get it. And they're really friendly, um, great people at the USPS, uh, at least the people that are actually at the store. <laughs> I don't know so much about the mailmen or mailwomen, but uh, the store definitely the case. So um, once again, uh, we appreciate you guys. Um, hopefully this video was, information, uh, was informative to you. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Take care.